This reaction that we're going to talk about, this type of reaction, is a single replacement reaction. It's of the general form A, where you have some kind of element, A, it's by itself, plus some sort of compound, in this case represented B, C. You can think of them as going uh, like to a dance or something. So A goes stag and B, C go as a couple. And what's going to happen in this chemical reaction is going to be a change. What's going to happen in the reaction is <coughs> B and C are going to split up and one of them is going to leave with A. So before, before the reaction you have uh, element and compound, single and couple. And after the reaction you're going to have a change. You're going to have A with one of them. Now, shoot, A would leave, for instance, with C, and then B would left, be left all by itself. <clears throat> now, which one it goes with does matter in chemistry. As you know, the uh, way that we write formulas, we have the positive guy first and the negative guy second. And so, whatever this is, if it's going to leave with one of those, it's actually going to depend on what it is. If this is a positive thing, it would have to leave with the negative, as it did in this example. If B A were to leave with a B instead, that would imply that A was a negative thing, which happens sometimes as well. So you've got to be careful not to put a positive with a positive over here. Uh, <coughs> but. Uh, <clears throat> so you can get, just like I said, think about it like this couple. C says, hey, A is pretty cute, leaves with A, and then B is left all by himself, just like what happens to you at the dance a lot of the time. So uh, there are many examples of this kind of reaction, this kind of single replacement reaction. One that we will do today is a reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium. In this reaction we have hydrochloric acid, that would be the couple hydrogen is with chlorine and here we have a solution of hydrochloric acid dissolved in water and the thing that's going to be coming to the dance alone is magnesium so I've kind of flipped them here here we had the element by itself with the compound couple uh, now I've kind of flipped it the order that you write them in the reaction doesn't matter so what's going to happen as uh, as this proceeds is the uh, element has to leave with one of these two and we, as we know magnesium forms positive ion and therefore it's going to have to leave with the negative thing the negative thing of these two would be chloride that would leave hydrogen by itself so we would write over here what magnesium oh, Magnesium and chloride are together, plus two, minus one. The formula writing rules for type one still apply. We'd have two of these and one of those. And then hydrogen would be left off by itself uh, because it got left. Hydrogen, of course, being a diatomic, a Hofbrinkel element, we would put a little two on it. That's how we would write that. And then we would balance it. We're not gonna deal with balancing right now. So what would this actually look like? Well, I have a little uh, example here. Here we have some HCl dissolved into the water here, and I can actually take some magnesium. Ooh, here's the magnesium, and I'm going to put the magnesium. Magnesium is a uh, bright silvery. Uh, this is in ribbon form. It's just a metal. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a ribbon. We're going to take the magnesium. We're going to plop it in here, and you're going to see lots of bubbles coming off. <coughs> now, I happen to know what kind of bubbles those are. Uh, it's also, if you were to touch it, you would feel that you can't touch it, but it's getting hot. It's getting very hot. Now, how do I know that's hydrogen? Well, I can do, well, I'm going to wait a minute. I don't want to do this while it's bubbling really fiercely, but I can show you that's hydrogen. There's a test for hydrogen. What you can do is you can let the hydrogen sort of build, build up for a bit, and then... I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I'm not kind of building up quite enough. There should be a little bark. You kind of, you can kind of hear a little pop. I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not, but you know, 
you may or may not be able to tell that that's burning, but the, the gas that's coming off of it is flammable. You can, you can actually get it to, to make that little pop. So now all of the magnesium is gone. That's the bubbles coming off were hydrogen gas. And you might ask, well, what happened to the magnesium chloride? Well, the magnesium chloride is dissolved into, it's a salt, just like salt water right now. It's magnesium chloride water in there right now. Uh, we could actually boil off the water and we would be left with a salt crystal, magnesium chloride crystal at the bottom. And so that's the uh, one example of one type of reaction, a single replacement where you have an element displacing, replacing one of the parts of a compound, creating a new compound, and then that part gets left off all by itself, as in we did here, HCl was the H, and the HCl was replaced by the magnesium, making MgCl2, and giving hydrogen off by itself. That's the end of this lesson.